In this demonstration, we're going to look at how we can manage certificates in Exchange Server 2016. So I've come to my Exchange Admin Center, I've come to my Servers node, and within my Servers node, I'm just going to go to Certificates. Uh, within Certificates, this is where we're going to now start managing our certificates for our Exchange Adatum.com organization. So within the Certificates tab, what we're going to do here is just click on the plus, because we want to request a new certificate. That then brings us into what sort of exchange certificate do we want? Do we want a request from a certificate from a certification authority? Most secure way to do it. Or do I want to create a self-signed certificate? So what I'm going to do at this point here is I am going to create a certificate request from a certification authority. So we'll select next. Then what we need to do is we just need to type in a friendly name for this certificate. I'm going to use mail.adatum.com, which matches the DNS record for my server. So then what we'll do is we'll select next. Then what we need to do here is we need to decide whether or not we're going to actually use wildcard certificates. I'm not going to use a wildcard certificate for purposes of this demo. So what we'll do at this point here is we'll just select next. Then what we're going to do is we need to store the certificate request on this server. So we'll just browse through and I'm going to store it on LON EX1 because that is the server that I'm creating the certificate for. So this is where I'm going to create the certificate request. So we'll select OK. Then what we'll do is we'll select our next button. And what you can see here is for the new exchange certificate, we need to specify the domains we want to be included in our certificate. So we're everywhere where we've got from the internet, what we need to do is specify mail.datum.com. So we'll come in to start with uh, Outlook Web App when accessed from the internet. We'll just edit this here. And we specify our mail.datum.com. We'll select OK. Then what we need to do is we need to do the same for all the other internet options. Now that's done, we'll select next. Then our new exchange certificate at this point here, we just need to verify that we do actually have the domains that we want to specify at this point here. So we'll just check through. We should have mail.adatum.com. We should have the lonex1.adatum.com, auto discover, lonex1 itself, and adatum.com. Now we've verified all of this, we'll just select mail.adatum.com. For our internet access, as we're using mail.adatum.com, we'll just turn on the tick box. And that will set mail.adatum.com as our default common name. So now what we'll do is we'll select next. That then brings us into the new exchange certificate. So now what we need to do is just fill out this little table. And this is going to be required by the certification authority. And we specified a data as our organization, IT is the department, London for the city locality and England for the state province and United Kingdom is the country region name and now we'll select next. And then in the case of the new exchange certificate, we need to save the certificate request to the following file. So we'll specify where we want to store this file. And I'm going to store this in backslash backslash lon ex1 backslash c dollar windows temp cert rec. Rec. And then we'll select finish. And that's returned me back to mail.adatum.com is pending a request. So the next thing to do is now process the certificate request. So what we'll do is we'll open up a request file in Notepad. Then what we're going to do here is we're just going to highlight all of this text. And we'll copy this text. And we'll use this to issue the request against our certificate server. So what we'll do here is we'll just go into Internet Explorer and connect through to our certificate server. And what I've done here is I've just got HTTP colon forward slash forward slash lon hyphen DC one forward slash search serve. The next thing we're going to do here is we're now going to request the certificate. So we'll select request certificate. This will then bring us into the wizard. So what we want to do at this point here is we want to request the certificate with an advanced certificate request. What we're going to do here is we're going to submit a certificate request by using the base64 encoded. Then what we'll do is we'll come into a saved request and we'll just paste in the request that we took from Notepad. We'll then just select our certificate template and what we have here is our CA has a template for a date and web. And then we'll select submit. Next thing to do is just download our certificate. We'll save it. 
and that's now saved off our certificate request. So now we've saved off our certificate, the next thing we need to do is we actually now need to implement the certificate. So I'm going to come back to the Exchange Admin Center and now what we want to do is we now want to go through this pending request. So we'll highlight mail.adatum.com, then we'll click complete. Then what it's going to ask us for here is the location of the certificate. So what we need to do is specify the certificate location. And in my, lo my case that's located in lon ex one c dollar users administrator.datum downloads cert new dot CER. Next thing to do now is allocate the certificate to some services. I'm not really bothered about the revocation check has failed, to be perfectly honest. This is my lab environment. I've taken from an internal CA. I haven't set up a certificate revocation list, so we'll just double click on mail.adatum.com. And then all we'll do is we'll select the services. And what we're going to do here is we're going to use the certificate with IIS, and we're also going to use it as well for SMTP. Once we've done all of that, we'll select the save button. We'll get a warning that'll pop up. This warning is just telling us it's going to overwrite the existing default SMTP certificate, current certificate. I'm happy with that. We'll say yes. That's the end of this demonstration. Thanks very much.